The future of St. Pete is in your hands. You have just four days to choose the next person to hold St. Pete's top job. Good evening, everyone. I'm Laura Harris. And I'm Jamison Euler in this half hour for Paul Legrone. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck shows you the one thing each candidate is planning to make your life easier. I asked people across St. Pete a simple question. What's your biggest concern? The pier. The economy. The, the sewage issue. Jobs. Answers vary, but there's one topic that came up again and again. <laughs> you worry about supporting your family and not being priced out of the place you call home. Everything just moved with, uh, with jobs first. With so many high rises going up, you wonder what's being done to bring down rent prices and build affordable housing. You get housing and then you can, you know, that's the first step in starting to feel some sense of normalcy. We took your concerns straight to the two candidates, Rick Kreisman and Rick Baker. We're going to take $15 million right off at the top that's going to go straight for affordable housing. Kreisman is making a promise to build more apartments like this. Baker hoping to donate city land to organizations like Habitat for Humanity. Nonprofit wants to come in and build a house and get affordable housing into somebody so they can have home ownership. I will give them those lots. And what about jobs? Kreisman plans to focus on attracting target industries, science, finance, and manufacturing. Creating good paying jobs. If we do that and in all areas of the city uh, with a significant focus south of central. Baker wants to make getting building permits easier for companies and to start a new apprentice program. After four years, you become a certified plumber, electrician. It's a great job. It's a career. Tuesday's race could drastically shape the city. And for many of you, you're hoping whoever takes the reins will help your family get ahead. In St. Pete, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.